buddy. I thought I was coming over to have a cup of coffee with uh, Jonathan and Carl and a few people, and I didn't realize we were going to have such a fantastic gathering. I mean, having from the Board of Governors and Jack Scott to FACT and all the representatives from the unions, but most importantly, the student leaders here, this is a fantastic gathering. I'm assuming as soon as we get done eating, we're all rushing over to the Capitol with the agenda in hand and letting people know what the issues are and what community college is about. That's one of the things we've been trying to do since I've gotten here. And needless to say, it's not a new issue on my part or on other people's part. People know what community college is about. You and I have been there. I don't care if it's a cocktail party, you're out there drinking, you're at a game, at a picnic. Before long, someone will testify how community college saved their life, how community college gave them a second chance, third chance, how people woke up, smelled the coffee, and said, damn it, I better get more education. And when they do that, where do they go? They go to community college. When you look at what our basic charge is relative to us as an institution, we're the people's college. We're the blue collar college. We don't brag about what we don't take. We talk about we take everybody. We give everybody an opportunity. And what more could be a fundamental democratic institution than one that has that basically as their goal? Take anybody that wants to get a college education. Now, you and I know it's not that easy just getting in the door and looking and getting your food here today. I thought people were registering for classes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. what it looks like in every one of your campuses. People out there need to register for classes. Maybe they're fighting for parking. I don't know what it is, but this is what happens at community colleges, right? We're used to this. We're used to having big lines to get your food. We're used to having lines to get your registration. We're used to having lines of people. And we want even more people to realize the important role community college plays. So I don't care. If we're talking about veterans coming back from medical war, we might be in at the moment. They need to re-engage their education. They need to come to community college. Our women that do the most important thing in the world, raise our children. Some have put their careers in education on high level. They said, I want to come back. I want to get my degree. It's my turn. When are they engaged? Community college. Immigrants have realized this is the portal. This is the way you get into the higher education path by going through community college. We want to work with our sisters and brothers that are coming out of prison, need that second or third chance. They need to get their education. They need to come to community college. And we want everybody in community college because we know we're the ones that do the hard work. We know that if you get out of community college with your AA degree, if you transfer, every university or state college wants you in their campus because they know you're going to succeed. All right. All right. Oh, what we need to do, and what we are a part of, is making sure across the street people realize that community college is a fundamental, critical connector in this continual public education. We're not the stepchild. We're not a junior college. We're not what I remember when I went to community college. We used to call them high schools with ashtrays. We don't even let you smoke anymore at community <laughs> college. What we do is provide that kind of education. And you and I know that it's under attack. You and I know it's under siege. People talk about two years to get out of community college, three years, we're talking four, we're talking five. We're talking about one campus? No. You go to one campus, get in your car, go to the neighboring campus if they have the class you need, and maybe go to a third campus because you've got to get that special class that you need to get your degree or get done what you're trying to achieve relative to your goal. So we know, though, that as a bargain, as an education bargain, there is none better than community colleges state of California. We know that if across the street the government wants to talk about what kind of bang they're getting for their buck, the best bang you can get for your buck in higher education is in community college. So the forming of this community college caucus was simply about looking at the stars coming into this crazy alignment. I mean, who better to have as a chancellor than someone that used to run the state senate across the street than Jack Scott? <laughs> and I got elected on a special election 
And then the next cycle that came in, we got Marty Block, we got Paul Fong, and I'm telling you what's great about Union County is it's a bipartisan issue. Everybody, Republican, Democrat, Independent, Green, Peace and Freedom, it doesn't matter the political party. People know the importance of Union College. And then our Board of Governors, we have folks who really know and really believe in community college. We have folks that have been committed to doing this kind of work. And then what we have fundamentally is our foundation, are the people that teach the classes, are the people that work on those campuses, and most importantly, are the students. And we're not talking about wet behind the ear, 18-year-olds. We have some of those, I know that. But our average age, as everybody knows here, is more like 27 or 28. People that are taking their lives and making something out of them. One thing I do every time I've had a chance to speak at a community college graduation is I ask two questions. One, I ask how many of you are working? Almost all the hands go up. Everybody works that goes to community college. Then I ask the question, how many of you have family? About 60 to 70 percent of hands go up because people have them. They have their children. And what better message to send to your children than if you're going back to school, maybe that means it's pretty damn important. So I'm pleased to be here. I'm honored to receive this award. But this is just the beginning of the work that we're trying to do. Working together with all of you, coming up with a blueprint, a plan, subject to change in the future, but we have to provide a strategic view of where community college fits in the public education continuum, rather than being left with the leftovers or whatever people might feel should fall off the edge of the plate, then we get. That's bullshit. What we're talking about, right? what we're talking about is making people know that community college is a fundamental part of the public education system. In fact, it's probably the most important part the most important connector of pre-K and that all the way to higher education, we're the ones that make the connection. I'm here to thank you for all that you do. I'm here to say it's great to have you up here because people across the street need to get reminded on occasion how important community college is. We're getting ready to go into a very tough budget time. But it's an interesting thing about crisis. As sure as there's a crisis, it also provides opportunity opportunity to re-examine how we've been doing things. Maybe we need to change some things. Nobody's saying the status quo is perfect. Everybody's talking about the need to make change. Thank you for coming to Sacramento. I look forward to seeing you across the sea, and I'm particularly honored with this degree. Thank, Thank you very much.